I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm willing to work as hard as I can. There is no past, there's no future, there's just this moment right here. If I did that, if I can get through that, like, come at me. Changing how I saw myself, like, as a man, not just as, as an athlete. It's okay that I struggle. It's okay, that's part of the deal. It's how I respond to it. This is the Limitless Athlete Podcast. I'm Tom Foxley, founder of Mindset Rx and your host. And today I want to show you the ways that an athlete can and should journal. Now, so many athletes that I work with and have conversations with come to me saying something along the lines of like, try journaling. Um, I know I should do it, but I really don't know how and I don't know the benefit of it. And I don't really kind of understand the structure of how to get the most from it. So I want to show you how you can journal for positivity, for self-knowledge, for self-belief and confidence, and also like mental toughness as well, because journaling is this fantastic tool that you can use and get so much benefit that translates directly to your performance in the gym, but also your mental health, your mindset outside of it too. Um, and it's key and it's easy and it's simple. And like, you can do this, like it usually requires some coaching to go back and forth, but you can start this after today and start moving forwards um, immediately in your training. So first, uh, first thing here, is building positivity. Becoming a positive athlete is just a reframe and you just basically have to put the reps and the sets in in order to shift your mindset. The physical change that happens in a, in a mindset is like kind of a well, it's a rewiring, a recircuiting, or it's a little more complex than that, but you can think of it like a, a rewiring and a recircuiting of the brain, like you're you're choosing different pathways to fire. And to do that, to become more positive and drop your negative story, you just have to put the sets and the reps in. And it's that simple. And if you've been listening to this for like, I must have mentioned this tool 10 times in a row, but we're going to start with it and crack on with it. Uh, we'll crack on with it. The AMWAP, as many wins as possible, because this will make you more positive and generate more self belief too. At the end of each day or the end of each training session, pull out a journal and write down as many wins as possible. As a win here is anything that took you forward to being the type of person that you want to be or living the type of life that you want to live. For added bonus points, Focus on the process, not the outcome. So the, the equivalent of that is instead of focusing on um, instead of focusing on like, OK, I hit a 200 kilo deadlift. You'd be like, OK, I did my sets and my reps and um, I did. I put in the, the necessary reps to move myself forward. So at the end of each session, write this down. The way this works is it's just practicing firing that circuit where you're practicing flipping the narrative. Um, so focus on this small wins, not the big ones, because you're not going to you're not going to pay all your deadlift every day. And that's just the outcome anyway. It's going to be out of your control. Like you just want to put the set, the sets and the reps in, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And that is what's going to move you forward. So it's not necessarily a gratitude practice um, because gratitude is slightly different. We're just trying to build that kind of positivity and it's going to flip that story of like, hey, look, I've do I'm doing all these things. And by actively writing this down, this is going to massively help you move forward. Then um, gaining self-knowledge, like, Self-knowledge is the is the start of all wisdom or knowing yourself is the start of all wisdom. That's an Aristotle quote. If you want to reach your potential, you've got to know your strengths. You've got to know your weaknesses. You've got to know what type of athlete you are. You want to know what fires you up, what demotivates you, what motivates you, um, what encourages you to push harder, what makes you hold back. And that is self-knowledge. You've got to know yourself better. And the best way you can do this is with an observe your inner athlete, O-Y-I-A. That's what we kind of, and it's kind of like an acronym, but um, it doesn't spell anything out. Um, or you, uh, I think it would be pronounced. So observe your inner athlete. All you do, blank piece of paper, start writing. Five minutes, set a time for five minutes and just start writing and just keep that flowing, keep it going. And what you're going to get by the end of that is a page of mostly gibberish. But within that, you're going to see like recurring phrases and you're going to see emotions that come up and you're going to essentially see the 
um, the product of a narrative, a belief that you have. So if you believe, um, for example, you're not good enough, you're never going to get there, you're going to see loads of phrases and sentences that are just streamed out from your consciousness onto the paper that reflect that. And you'll be able to go, ah, oh, this is my narrative. If you believe, um, I've always, I'm the fat person, I've always been the fat person, I'm the skinny person, I've always been the skinny person, I'm a lifter, I'm not strong enough, I'm not an endurance athlete, um, whatever it is that's holding you back you'll see that reflected on paper in like kind of um, like hinted phrases and like your emotions will map that too. So you write whatever comes to mind, put it down to paper. And then when you've done that, you'll be able to look back and pick up that, um, pick up the kind of themes of that. And you don't want to edit it. You don't want to redact it. You don't want to filter what you're writing. You just want to dig into whatever you feel like you need to avoid and just write whatever thoughts come up. There's no like kind of creating a narrative here. It should be messy. It should be awful. And like in, in terms of like handwriting wise, and it shouldn't be easy to read. Like it should be kind of just blurted stuff out. So some prompts that you can use, some example prompts are my biggest weaknesses are and just start writing or this is how I'd get in my own way um, or this is what I'd like to most change about myself as an athlete, something like that and just get writing, get going. Oh, and by the way, AMWAP examples. Um, we can do the five biggest wins from my session were and just write them out. Um, we can do write for seven minutes about how you've grown as an athlete in the last 24 hours or 12 months or give yourself a time frame um, and then 12 wins from the past 24 hours of time we can do as well like these are all just starting points we can go wherever you want to go with that so you've got to observe your own athlete and amwaps next thing is how to train mental toughness through mindset training and journaling we can use this to train any character skill that you have. It doesn't have to be mental toughness. It can be, um, it can be compassion. It can be um, grit. It can be determination. It could be assertiveness. It can be patience. Whatever you need it to be, you can make this the requirement for you. So this is character skill training. And all you're going to do at the beginning of each training session or just before is you'll look at your training session, figure out what's going to be hardest, figure out why that's going to be hard for you and what emotional reaction that's going to have. And then think of the opposite. So if this was, I don't know, um, let's use 23.2 and say you're, um, I'll use my example here, say your uh, burpees are very slow, um, you might get in your head, well, this is what I had to do. This is exactly what I did for 23.2. It's like my burpees are going to like be slower than most people's burpees. I'm a longer limbed athlete and they're also just not a strength. So what's going to happen in terms of mindset there and emotion? Okay, so I'm going to start to maybe compare myself or put myself down, to say things like you're not going um fast enough and the result of that is i'd overpace it i'd go too slow so the character skill that i want to train and bring out in that moment is um assertiveness or aggressiveness in my burpees like basically going towards discomfort so i would say then i'm going to train the character skill assertiveness so this is really important for me moving forwards being assertive towards the outcome that i want to generate i'm going to train assertiveness by ensuring that i use the self-talk Go quick, go hard on the on the burpees. And I'll just use that to myself to encourage myself to trip, move forwards. And that's going to help me move forward. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to bridge the gap between your character traits, which are fairly set, and your potential, which can move forwards through identifying the character skill that you can train. And then final piece, being more consistent, more disciplined, more focused as an athlete. Shiny death syndrome is huge in the crossfit world like you will get pulled from pillar to post you'll always be trying to do different things um but to be successful you've got to think what am i going to do how am i going to be focused how am i going to move forwards right now and we can use a journaling exercise called the direction review at the beginning of the day to move you forwards and to keep you in the aggressive pursuit of your potential three steps to it Firstly, you write down your main goals. So refresh, this is where I'm going. This is who I want to be. This is what I want to achieve. So write down, just to refresh, just to bring that to front of mind. The second piece, give yourself a quick opportunity to analyze out, like, are you doing the right thing? Are you moving forwards? Uh, do you need to change direction at all? And that will help you kind of just go, okay, I'm assessing my strengths, my weaknesses. Do I need to change path? And then finally, create a list of just the essential tasks for that day. So 
An example of this would be, okay, it's three years from now and I'm going into the open uh, with complete self-belief. So you're thinking about like, okay, this is who I'm becoming. This is where I'm, I'm getting to. The direction is like, okay, I've done everything in my power. I don't really need to adjust course. I've, I, I know that I've done the right steps. I just need to be consistent. So the, 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 the direction intention there is like, I'm just going to be consistent. And then your intentions for the next 24 hours, now your training sessions, talk to a coach about strategy for the muscle ups and um, then like eat my macro, something like that. Just the most essential things that you can do that day. And that will keep you on track and that will keep you moving forward. If you enjoyed the podcast, make sure you leave me a five star review because I really, really appreciate it. And it also helps other athletes find this. And we're on a journey to bring proper mindset training to the entire functional fitness community. So you'll be able to, to help someone else find that, whether it's for performance, or whether it's for mental health. So hope you enjoyed the show and I'll speak to you very soon.